What happens when a soccer match turns into a life and death struggle on the field? The world of football is reeling from the tragic loss of Uruguayan player Juan Izquierdo, who collapsed during a game in Brazil and was pronounced dead just days later. Today, we'll take you through the heartbreaking events that have shaken the soccer community to its core. It was a night that no one on the field will ever forget. During a Copa Libertadores match in Sao Paulo, 27-year-old Juan Izquierdo, a defender for Uruguay's Nacional, suddenly collapsed on the pitch. The panic was immediate and palpable as players from both teams frantically waved for the medics, urging them to bring the ambulance directly onto the field. In those tense moments, all thoughts of the game vanished, replaced by desperate pleas to save a life. Footage from the game shows Izquierdo stumbling backward before crumpling to the ground, a sight that sent shockwaves through everyone present. The original broadcast captured the chaos and fear as his teammates and opponents united in their efforts to get him the urgent medical attention he needed. But despite their quick response, the worst was yet to come. Izquierdo was rushed to Hospital Albert Einstein, where he was placed under neurological critical care. According to the hospital, he had suffered cardiorespiratory arrest due to cardiac arrhythmia, a condition that led to increased intracranial pressure. He was kept on a ventilator, but as the days passed, his condition did not improve. On Tuesday, just a few days after the collapse, Izquierdo was pronounced dead. The news of Izquierdo's death sent ripples of grief across the soccer world. His club, Nacional, expressed their deep sorrow, saying the loss had left an irreplaceable void in their hearts. South America's soccer governing body also paid tribute, acknowledging the impact of this tragedy on the entire football community. Izquierdo's journey in professional soccer began in 2018 with Cerro, and he quickly made a name for himself with his athleticism and sharp tackles. His career took him from Penarol to Montevideo Wanderers, and even to Mexico's San Luis, before he returned to Uruguay. In 2023, Izquierdo was instrumental in leading Liverpool FC to its first Uruguayan league title in over a century. This year, he rejoined Nacional, where he was competing for a spot in the starting lineup alongside veteran Sebastián Coates. Off the field, Izquierdo was a devoted family man, married with two children. Tragically, his youngest child, a boy, was born just earlier this month. The loss of Izquierdo is not just a blow to the soccer world, but a devastating heartbreak for his family and loved ones. In response to Izquierdo's passing, Uruguay's first and second division leagues postponed their weekend matches out of respect. Tributes poured in from across the globe, with Neymar, Real Madrid star Rodrigo, and former Liverpool striker Roberto Firmino among those expressing their condolences. Neymar's message, in particular, struck a chord as he posted a black and white photo of Izquierdo, offering strength to the family and friends of the fallen player. The soccer world has lost not only a talented athlete, but a beloved teammate, husband, and father. As we mourn this tragic loss, our thoughts and prayers go out to Juan Izquierdo's family, friends, and teammates. And that's a wrap for today's video. The football community has lost a bright star in Juan Izquierdo, and the impact of his loss will be felt for a long time. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm from AU News, and we'll see you in the next one.